Hey guys, it's NukeCon here. As the title suggests, I have COVID. Or at least I did have COVID very recently. But before any of you guys start worrying about me, don't worry. I fortunately don't have any symptoms right now. Haven't had any symptoms since last week, and I'm healthy as usual, which is why I'm allowed back on university campus, as you can see. I actually meant to make this video two weeks ago because that is when I found out I tested positive for COVID and my feelings regarding this happening to me was fresh. So, here's the timeline of what happened. Three weeks ago, before I moved back onto campus, I took an at-home COVID test as per following university policy. It tested negative, so I moved back onto campus on Sunday, January 31st. All my classes were Zoom classes at the time because of the Omicron surge, but I returned to campus because I had an in-person thing I needed to attend on campus that week. I took my first weekly university PCR COVID test on Monday, as per also following university policy. I didn't know that I had tested positive until that Thursday. By then, I'd been interacting with my friends and peers for a few days as I usually would because I didn't know I had COVID. I started getting a runny nose on Wednesday, but I didn't think too much about it because I got spring allergies that are way worse than the moderate runny nose I got. I get really bad spring allergies every year. I remember getting the email on Thursday last week. It was around 2 p.m. in between Zoom classes. I randomly decided to open my email. I see that my COVID test has been emailed to me. I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to just look at the result because why not? And then it said I tested positive. And at first I was shocked. I was like, wait, is this real? And then I got a very strong sinking feeling in my heart. That was the worst I'd felt in months. Just learning that I tested positive for COVID. Before that, I fortunately never knew anyone who got COVID until a few days ago when two of my close college friends tested positive for COVID. Then a few days later, I myself get COVID. I was like, dang, how did this happen to me? How, how did I get COVID? I've been social distancing and wearing a mask when I'm in public places. I was in my dorm room with my roommate, Aaron, cool social guy who has, together with a number of other college friends and I, played Among Us, which I've streamed on Twitch. I'd been in the same room as him since I moved in for hours at a time. These are the exact words I, with a heavy heart and a distraught tone, told him. Aaron, it's time to break the news. I have a problem. And he says, okay. I say, I tested positive for COVID. In a calmer voice than my voice, he says, okay, thank you for telling me. I was just about to go to an in-person class. I tell him, I'm sorry. Aaron says, no, it's okay. It wasn't your fault. I really appreciate him taking this horrible news with understanding and without anger or frustration. Really appreciate it. Fortunately, both Aaron and I are fully vaccinated. Two doses plus booster shot as required by the university. But I was in shock for the next few hours. I could not pay attention to the Zoom class I had at all. When and where could have I possibly gotten COVID? I probably won't die, but am I about to get really sick? I'm going to have to move somewhere off campus. What am I going to have to do? It's going to be best if I don't go home. I texted my college friend group chat that I had tested positive for COVID, and a lot of them gave me condolences and get well soon, which I really appreciate. Then I called my mom, telling her I had tested positive for COVID. And my mom told me then that one of our other family members had tested positive for COVID some time ago. I was like, bruh, that is something you absolutely should have told me before I moved back on campus. I would not have moved back onto campus if I had known. My mom had started getting some really bad coughing before I moved back on the campus. It wasn't we need to go to the hospital bad, but it was bad enough to disrupt her daily life. But she took an at-home COVID test and it tested negative, just like it did for me. 
The rest of my family members and I didn't have any symptoms, and all of us were fully vaccinated. So we all thought it was just the flu. Even though now that I think of it, the flu is what COVID is. <laughs> and I should have considered, maybe considered not going. But I was required to go to the in-person thing, so off I went. After I called my mom, I reported my COVID case to the university. Someone from the university was assigned to email me everything I would need to know, and my dorm already talked to me. I was told that I could either go home, or I could stay in a hotel off campus that the university pays for. I chose to stay at the hotel for the time being. I didn't want to risk infecting my family with COVID. I later realized that I got COVID from my family, <laughs> and everyone in my family already has COVID, but I was going to the hotel first. So that Thursday, the same Thursday, I found out I tested positive for COVID. I took a few hours to pack all the stuff I could, which was almost everything I had in my dorm, <laughs> and took an Uber ride to the hotel. It was the first time I had ever called and needed to call an Uber ride in my life so far. Quite the unique experience, I guess. I brought so much stuff because I was explicitly instructed to overpack and bring everything I could possibly want and need, as you may have seen from the uh, cursed hotel room meme I posted on my YouTube channel. I was planning on staying there for eight days, and once I got in my room, I was not allowed to leave my room at all for quarantine reasons. I finished checking in and got all my stuff into the hotel room at around 12 a.m. in the morning. I didn't start unpacking yet, and I just went to sleep. The next day, I woke up at around noon and ate lunch until 2 p.m. I remember being in a long call with my mom during that time. Then I started unpacking. It took me almost three hours to unpack because I had so much stuff. I finally finished unpacking around 5 p.m. I got a little bit of homework done and then I ate dinner and watched YouTube until like 10 p.m. I also FaceTimed my family for almost an hour during that time. Then I thought of making the cursed hotel room meme video because I had stacked so many books under my computer which is actually what I'm doing right now. Yes, there's actually three. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do this all the time. I I have three books stacked on this computer. I still do it. Plus a tiny notepad, for for um, reasons. And I also put my water bottles in the shower pan to dry after I washed them. And I thought, that's so cursed. I should totally make this a cursed compilation. And I was like, you know what? I'm actually going to make it. So I took the next few hours to move around stuff and film it. I then took another few hours late Sunday night to edit it. Um, it's only a 20 second video, but... Gosh, that took me hours to edit. It actually did. Um, I've already posted it on my YouTube channel, as you can see. The um, room tour time, I guess. I'm going to give you guys the cursed 20 second tour of the hotel room I was in right now. So yeah, that's my cursed room tour, which you all have already seen two weeks before I made this video. My personal favorite of the compilation is turning the pillows vertical. I just happened to think of that and I was like, oh my gosh, now that is cursed. It was such a random and dumb idea and I actually ended up doing it. Imagine just walking to the hotel room and seeing your pillows are vertical <laughs> instead of horizontal, you know, as you saw in the video. As I mentioned before, the university paid for the shiny hotel room that I got to live in for a few days. I don't have any money. I'm broke. It was a unique and interesting experience that I never expected, but am happy I got to experience. I haven't gotten to be in a hotel room in years. I got to be in a hotel room all by myself because I, well, tested positive for COVID. I had what I felt like was a big problem with the hotel room though. I wasn't allowed to leave the hotel room. 
Like, I couldn't even prop the door open or walk around in the hallway. For a good reason, of course. I was only allowed to open the door to pick up the food that's dropped in front of my door. I'm used to being indoors for hours at a time, as I do every day, as you can see right now. <laughs> but I've developed a desire to be in the outdoors at least once a day, or I get mentally sick of being indoors. I wasn't ungrateful. I just felt trapped in my hotel. So after I learned that my whole family already has COVID, and they gave COVID to me, I thought I might as well as move back home. Once again, I wasn't ungrateful for the university paying for the hotel room. I just preferred to be with my family and get to be outdoors every day. All of us are vaccinated and well. My mom's coughing was getting better, but that meant I had to pack all of my stuff again, which took me another three hours, move all of it downstairs to the car and unpack all of it back home, which took another three hours. I was not happy about having to spend so much time packing and unpacking, but I guess, I guess it's kind of my fault because I packed so much stuff, but at the same time, it's not my fault because the university explicitly said, pack as much as you can, bring everything you will want and need. At the time, the thing I found most annoying out of this whole mess, because it was a mess, was I lost hours of valuable time that I needed to do all my homework. I did end up having an overview assignment, which I completed after it was due, but honestly, unfortunately, what is an overview homework assignment worth compared to knowing that all of my- I'm so sorry. It's <laughs> Edit! <laughs> okay, where was I? <laughs> What is an overdue homework assignment worth compared to knowing that all of my family and I got COVID, but we are safe, healthy, and well. So I continued to isolate at home with my family and take Zoom classes all of last week. I just moved back onto campus last Sunday because in-person classes started this week and I'm COVID free now. Another interesting small thing to note, this Monday, when I went to get a university PCR COVID test, the COVID tester asked me if I had tested positive for COVID in the last 90 days. And I said, yes, the, yeah, I said, yes. <laughs> and I said, yes. The COVID tester then told me I don't need to do any COVID tests for the next 90 days. So that's something to know. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say for this video. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to my personal experience of getting COVID. As I said before, I meant to make this video when all my feelings and frustrations were still fresh, but I suppose it may be an even better time now to make this video now that I'm COVID-free, symptom-free, I've just reached the end of my self-isolation period, and I've just experienced everything regarding this. I know that the COVID pandemic has been going on for almost two full years, Everyone has been negatively affected by the pandemic. Hopefully none of you guys have ever gotten COVID or lost loved ones. I'm fortunate to have made it this far into the pandemic without any of my family members or I getting COVID until we were fully vaccinated. Now that the Omicron surge is ending, I believe it is finally the beginning of the end of the COVID pandemic. The COVID pandemic has lasted way longer and been way deadlier than any of us expected. Hopefully by now, all of us have adapted to living during this pandemic. Personally, I've adapted. Everything feels like it's all back to normal, pretty much. The biggest difference is I wear a mask, which I'm used to. So everyone, get your vaccines if you haven't already. Keep wearing your mask. Keep in contact online or keep in contact in person if you're fully vaccinated and keep up the good fight. One last thing. I haven't said this on YouTube or any of my Twitch live streams yet, but I am going to start posting videos regularly once a week or at least attempt to. I did not post a YouTube video last week, so I'm going to post two this week. I already posted one, I think two days ago, like Friday or something. I've been meaning to post this video since last last week, as I said before. 
I need a lot of time to do homework, so I feel like realistically, I only have time to make a video once a week. I'll make more than one video a week if I had the time, and I feel like it. I also want to finally live stream on Twitch again. I have not live streamed on Twitch for more than two weeks, and I usually live stream on Twitch every few days, and I've been meaning to just, you know, stream again on Twitch. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, subscribe to join a new con battalion, turn on notifications to know when I post, and comment down below what you liked and what you'd like to see me do in the future. We all got this, and we're all going to make it through the pandemic. Together, comrades! Hope you've had a wonderful day so far. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And now, have a wonderful day. See you on the next video or live stream. Peace out.